Training in the morning or training in the evening is the time of day you train having a profound impact on your results. Welcome back, Dr. Milo Wolf here, PhD in sports science with Wolf Coaching, other side, left, right, all very confusing to me, featuring an unironed t-shirt. Leave a comment down below letting me know how much of a shame I've brought upon my family. But today I'm bringing you the science on whether training in the morning or in the evening makes a difference to how much progress you'll see in the gym. First, we need to ask the question, why would the time of day that you train even impact the effectiveness of your training that you perform in the gym? Well, here's the deal. Our bodies have an internal clock that results in fluctuations in readiness to train across the day, or essentially how well you'll perform. For example, in a study by Gett and colleagues in 2005, they found that when assessing the strength of the knee extensors at a variety of points throughout the day, using a very unskilled test of strength, strength peaked at 6 p.m. as opposed to 6 a.m., 10 a.m., 2 p.m. or 10 p.m. 6 p.m. seemed to be the point where your muscles are essentially most primed to perform strength-wise. But why was this the case? Like what explains this increase in strength at 6 p.m.? Well, they found that tympanic temperature, which is an indicator of circadian rhythm, it's essentially your body's temperature in a sense, peaked at 6.15 p.m. or quarter past six, suggesting that your circadian rhythm predisposed you to perform best around 6 p.m. Importantly, this increase in performance was explained by peripheral mechanisms, more so at the muscular level versus anything related to your central nervous system per se. So the idea goes by training at the optimal time on each day, you perform a little bit better in each session. This increase in performance then leads to an increase in stimulus, which when taken advantage of day in and day out, eventually leads to more muscle growth in the long term. And that's all well and good, but there are a million mechanistic rationales out there that actually don't pan out. What does the evidence actually say when it comes to muscle growth being measured? Is there a consensus? Well, as it turns out, there is. There was a meta-analysis by Gurdjik and colleagues from 2018. In their meta-analysis, they included studies that compared two groups. Both groups performed the same training, but one group would train in the morning and the other group in the evening. This allowed them to minimize the impact of any other variables, such as their training programs, on the results. And they found 11 studies that did this and measured either strength or hypertrophy. Importantly, all 11 of these studies measured some sort of strength outcome, but only five looked at muscle growth. Within these studies, when the researchers assessed strength at baseline before participants actually went and did the training program involved in these studies, they did find that participants were a little bit stronger in the evening versus when they were tested in the morning. This effect was a small effect size in statistical terms. So just like the study by Gett and colleagues, it does seem like on average, people are a little bit stronger in the evening. Then they try to see whether strength gains from before the study to after the study are time of day specific. So for example, did the group training in the morning see greater improvements in strength when tested in the morning compared to the group that trained in the evening. Essentially, if you train in the morning, do you get stronger in the morning than someone who trains in the evening? Well, when strength was assessed in the morning, there were no differences whether you trained in the morning or in the evening. However, when strength was assessed in the evening, the group that did train in the evening did see greater strength gains compared to the group training in the morning. In other words, there may be some specificity to when you train and how that impacts your strength gains across the day. But specifically, this only applies the training in the evening. And importantly, the effect was small in statistical terms. With that being said, when studies measured maximum voluntary contraction force, which is essentially a very robust, unskilled test of strength, they found no differences between the morning group or the evening group as far as strength gains went. And more importantly, the exact same is true of hypertrophy. They found no difference whatsoever in terms of muscle growth, whether participants train in the morning or in the evening. So what can we take away from this meta-analysis and from the general idea that you'll see better gains training in the evening versus in the morning? First off, and this is a huge takeaway that I see a lot of the time in practice in this industry, just because something mechanistically makes sense or makes sense in isolation, don't think that in practice, that is also what happens for sure. Just because you find in this case, for example, an effect on acute performance, don't think that it makes a practical difference in your progress in the gym. In fact, things may not even work the way you think if all you're relying on is a mechanistic rationale. Your body is a complex system with mechanisms that overlap, sometimes even counteract each other. And ultimately, the outcome you care about 
is the result of all of these mechanisms overlapping, sometimes counteracting each other. All of this to say, when you're looking at, does this work better than this? Try to measure or try to look for studies that measure your outcome of interest, not specific mechanisms. Next, the time of day you train probably doesn't matter much for muscle growth, which hooray, that is good for basically everyone ever. So if you have a job, you know, you're not a YouTuber like me, and you have to be at work from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. or what have you, maybe 10 p.m. because let's be honest, you're a workaholic, as am I. Except my work involves just standing in a studio talking to a camera for some reason. And you have to train at 6 a.m., get up early in the morning, and you're like, fuck, this influencer just told me I'm wasting my time here because I'm not training in the evening. There's good news. In all likelihood, you're still optimizing your muscle building. And the final takeaway that only applies to a few very specific cases, if you're an athlete and you have competitions that usually take place in the evening, try training consistently in the evening to maximize your progress and maximize your performance in those competitions. By training in the evening, you may see slightly better performance. And that is the video. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. When do you train? Do you find that there's a certain time of day that you prefer training, that you find you get better workouts in? Let me know down below. If you'd like me to coach you, consider checking the link above to see what I offer. With that being said, have a great day and I'll see you guys, my subscribers, in that next one. Peace.